Hi everyone, my name is Shivani Bakna, and giving a TED Talk has been a dream on my vision board for the last five years. And the fact it's actually happening right now feels surreal. So when I was asked to give this talk, I first had a little happy dance in my room, but then it hit me. What could I possibly say that hasn't been said before? What could I, a 24 year old say to inspire you? And honestly, who from this college board even deemed me worthy of being here? Like many of you, I too have watched a countless number of these talks, but I was always left wondering, how was that guest invited to be on this side of the stage and how could I do the same? And when I really thought about it, this has been the case for every single dream of mine. Where was the roadmap? And that's when it clicked. Let me give the talk today that 16 year old Shivani wished she could have seen. How to get to the TEDx stage? Well, virtually. So to begin, let me introduce myself. Some of you may know me as a content creator. Some of you may know me as a TV host who interviews celebrities. And some of you may know me as that girl from the Bollywood Paris proposal video. But I hope all of you by the end of this know me as someone who has spent the last five years of her life striving to build a unique path. But more importantly, who has celebrated the journey every step of the way. I am a second generation Indian American who grew up in a very privileged Midwestern bubble. I lived in Indiana for 10 years, Ohio for the next 10 years, and if you're wondering where that is, yep, you're right, it's in the middle of nowhere. My dad is a doctor, my mom is an accountant, my younger brother and fiance work in finance, and I was raised in an environment that stressed good values and a strong work ethic. So with my quintessential high school resume and an admission to the University of Michigan's biomedical engineering program, my dream was to become a doctor. Now let's pause. If I went down that route, I would have gotten the claps from the uncles and aunties, but I probably wouldn't be giving the speech right now. So if we go back to the initial question, how to get to the TEDx stage. Tip number one, embrace the discomfort of not pleasing society because you're likely shaking things up. And thus, let me share anecdotes from my journey that I believe got me invited on this stage and maybe some of the learning lessons will resonate with you to go out and do the same in your own journey. 18 year old Shivani, who was all set to become a doctor, decided that the summer before she entered college was the one time she could do something non-science related. Upon seeing a Facebook post of the company Miss Malini looking for interns, I emailed the address given with my application and I heard no response. I proceeded to find the founder's name, Malini Agarwal, and typed in all the combinations and permutations of her email. Malini at MissMalini.com, Malini dot Agarwal, Malini underscore Agarwal, until one email finally went through and I landed the internship. So tip number two, be stubbornly persistent with your goals. I interned at Miss Malini as a blogger, but also thought while I was in Mumbai, why not try my hand at modeling? But again, how does one start? So of course, I thought of an ingenious idea. I Googled how to become a model Mumbai and saw a few results talking about this place, Aramnagar. So NRI Shivani gets in an auto and says, Bhaiya, mujhe Aramnagar leke jao. I get to this area and there are just numbered little homes everywhere. I see some model looking people walk in, so I just follow them inside. The casting director would look me up and down and say, who called you for this audition? And on the spot, I would respond with a poker face. Shalini sent me. Shalini is my mom's name. And they'd go, there's no Shalini that works here. To which I'd open up my WhatsApp, scroll through a few messages, pretend to find a chat, and then look up and say, uh, it's in here somewhere. I'm not finding it. Can I still give an audition? And 85% of the time, they'd agree. So tip number three, fake it till you make it. That summer finished up and I realized that this feeling of doing something unconventional and figuring it out myself was addictive. But I'm also my writing and I needed to find a way to monetize this and make it my profession. So at 19, I did another Google search, Bollywood Company in America. And I learned there was only one company that was doing this, the Asian Variety Show. Again, upon emailing them, tweeting at them, cold calling them with no response, Detective Shivani took to Facebook. I looked up AVS's founder's profile, Raju Sethi, and saw that he's good friends with someone else who ran a PR company. And although I had no interest in working in PR, 
I decided I would intern there in the hopes that the friend would give me a referral to Raju, which would ultimately land me the connection I really wanted. And that brings me to step number four. Invest in the marathon and look at opportunities with a longer term investment because you're not always going to land your dream gig from day one. Now, two years into college, I realized I didn't want my entire undergraduate experience to just be Bollywood and entertainment focused. So the following years, I did corporate internships, in media buying and brand management, as well as a three month strategy co-op. So tip number five, intern and network as much as you can, especially during college. It's the best way to get your feet wet and make mistakes at a company's expense. Fast forward to college graduation and I have to decide, am I taking the full-time stable corporate job in New York City or am I moving to Mumbai to work in entertainment without a set plan? And I'm sure you can guess by now, I trusted my gut, I took a calculated risk and I moved from my Midwestern bubble to Mumbai. I didn't know of a single person who had done something similar to what I wanted to do nor did I have any friends or familial connections to bounce ideas off of. But what I did have was a lot of passion, a passion to prove myself and to the world that I could figure it out, a passion to take risks and a passion to break the mold. So tip number six, dream big, but with passion, because without it, you're just watching other people's dreams become a reality. Like thousands of people who come to Mumbai to make their dreams come true, I too was determined but I made it a point that I candidly document and share the ups and downs of the journey behind every dream of mine there. So that in the off chance that some of those dreams came true, thousands of young adults could learn from my mistakes and successes and follow the same steps that I took. So yeah, it was cool that I interviewed Shah Rukh Khan and acted in TV commercials and featured on billboards. But what was more important to me was showing you how those dreams happened and the craziness and bloopers behind it all. So tip number seven, Celebrate the journey as much as the wins because you are creating a path for so many to follow. And in the words of Kamala Harris, while I may be the first, I definitely won't be the last. The countless rejections at auditions, taking local trains, lying to my landlord and telling him I worked in finance in order to rent my apartment as a single girl, difficulties getting paid on time, drinking countless cups of chai in bed, doubting whether this was even the right decision at all. These were some of those in-between moments. I captured these memories so I could one day potentially show my future kids the craziness their mom pulled off. But what I realized is that hundreds of thousands of people loved following along my adventures too. We all love a good story, right? Be it politics, reality TV, business, sports. Sure, we root for people who achieve wonderful things, but we root harder when we're attached to their story. So tip number eight, embrace the failures and don't be shy of admitting when you stumbled. A story isn't built with just roses and unicorns. Ultimately, my story took me back to the US to work towards building something bigger than just myself in Bollywood and to be closer to my family in order to maximize memories created with them. COVID made sure that the former goal had many, many entrepreneurial hiccups and that the latter goal happened on overdrive after now living in the same home as my family for the last nine months. Bringing me to tip number nine, maintain perspective. It's less about the cards you were dealt and more to do with how you play them. In a couple of weeks, you all are the first to find out I am launching a community driven platform that strives to celebrate the not so glamorous moments behind every dream. Because let's be honest, if this talk goes to show anything, it's that the journey is where the magic happens. My goal is to see more candidness and authenticity on social media, in our conversations with others and with ourselves. The platform could very well be a disaster, but it could also be a transformational movement. So finally, tip number 10, find your purpose. It doesn't happen overnight, and I'll admit, I'm still not entirely sure I figured out mine but taking in all of your experiences and finding a resounding theme is a good start. So getting back to the initial question, how to get to the TEDx stage. I've shared 10 tips from my personal experience on what I think landed me here today, because there was no conscious strategy, no application filled out, no sweet talking someone on the board. Someone just DM'd me with the invite. 
So to everyone in this audience or who watches this video who dreams of being on this side of the camera, I hope this talk inspires you to embark on a roller coaster journey and embrace all the highs and lows that come with it. Thank you for listening.